Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Monotype run of Eden Emerald. Last time, we resolved the hostage crisis, got a phone, evolved Beldum into Matang, and won an optional battle with the rival. Off camera, I went around registered some trainers I had already battled in the Pokenav in case I wanted to be matched them later. I think there's a couple more I could register, actually. Let's take care of that. Um, so, the next objectives will be to pick up some items in Petalburg Woods that I can get now thanks to Cut. And this. X accuracy. Eh, I'll sell it. And then we're going to proceed to do for town. But we're not going to face the gym leader right away. No, instead, we are going to proceed to Granite Cave to capture my second Pokemon, Auron. Oh, and one more thing while I think about it. Um, I was going to link my Rumble channel in the description of my videos, but unfortunately YouTube's being a bit of a bitch right now. And, well, because I don't want to verify my ID with them, because I don't trust them with that information, they're going to make me wait a couple of months before I can post links in my descriptions. So, if you want to look me up on Rumble, just look up Stream Zero. It's spelled and capitalized the same as the YouTube channel, has the same icon, and it's got all of my stuff there, too. There's that item. There's also the Miracle Seed here, which boosts your Grass-type attacks. I don't think any of my Pokémon will be able to use it. We'll see. Maybe one of my Pokémon will be able to learn Giga Drain or Solar Beam later. I don't know. But I don't think I'll be able to use it. Might as well get what experience I can. Yeah, there's the nice thing about Metal Claw is you can boost your attack power with it. It's not guaranteed to, to proc, but when it does, it's a nice bonus. And this should be the last item here in Petalburg Woods. go. Let's see if I pick up anything. Nope, not this time. And now we go talk to Mr. Briny. Yeah, turns out I'm moonlighting as a mailman. Of course, I'm not being paid for it, but... Okay, I did get a free phone out of it. I guess I am being paid. Oh, yeah, and your dad talks to you. And we have arrived in Doofer Town. So, a couple things we're going to take care of first. There's a couple of items we can get. First of all, let's talk to this guy. You can get the old rod from him, which, well, not a great fishing rod, but you can get stuff like Tentacool or Magikarp. Now, Magikarp by itself, obviously terrible, but you have the patience to evolve into Gyarados, that can be very useful early in the game. Except that it doesn't learn many physical attacks. Most of the moves it can learn in this generation are special. You talk to this guy, and you will get a Silk Scarf, which boosts normal type attacks. I could give it to, well, Tang to boost takedown, but I don't see myself using takedown much. I'm gonna hold on to that for Auron when I catch it. Speaking of that... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna... We'll put you in here. Then I can use Teleport to get back to the Pokémon Center faster. Let's get my Power Points back.
And there's one more thing you can do. You can set the trendy saying. And, well, the hidden effect of this is when you swap records with another player, this will change where Feebass appears. No, that's not. I mean, yeah, momentum like, that sounds great, but, uh, hmm. Yeah, that's great and all, but you ever heard of this thing called hentai? Don't look that up, please. I don't want to get any angry comments. You've been warned. Alright, so. There's a couple of trainers you can battle up here, too. Second trainer is going to be over here. Fishing in the sea or the stream? Um, honestly, I think I prefer fishing on lakes, but that's just me. Actually reminds me, last year, uh, well, one of my bucket list items was I wanted to go fishing in Alaska, so I got the chance to do that last summer. That was nice. Thought about half a dozen trout. It was fun. It is really, really nice to not have moves that deal recoil damage. This way I'm not constantly having to go back to the Pokemon Center. Register this guy. Let's see. Did I get anything? Uh, nope. But there's a couple hidden items. Here is a Stardust, which you'll be able to sell for about a thousand yen. Not a whole lot, but it's something. And over here, there's a Pokeball. And further along this beach, but you need Surf to get to it, is a Protein. We'll get that later. So. Now we go here, and this is who you get Flash from. You don't need Flash, per se, but... So, yeah. Anyway, now that we're here at Granite Cave, we got two things to do. We can go and get the, uh... We can deliver the letter to Steven. And we can also catch ourselves the Auron. However, we're not necessarily going to go with the first Auron we find. Because the Auron that I want is one that has the Rock Head ability. Which means it won't take recoil damage from using moves like, say, Double Edge. So I'm going to catch a few of them, and hopefully one of them will have Rockhead. There's an escape rope. Which is useful because for some reason you can't use teleport inside caves, which is stupid. Sorry for the awkward cut there, but again, Bandicam will let you record 10 minutes at a time, and we're coming up on the 10 minute mark. As you can see, very hard to see because you don't have flash, but flash is not required. It just makes things a lot easier. There's only a couple places where you need it, which are here, uh, the Cave of Origin, and Victory Road. Level up! We go down here.
There's a Pokeball. Oh, so yeah, that right there, uh, you need a mock bike to get up there. We might come back for the stuff here later. There's a rare candy and an Everstone up there. And now it's the bottom floor. And there's our first Auron. I will use takedown on these just to weaken them. Well, I have to hit them still. That was a crit. Oh, come on. You see, this is why I don't like takedown. But, my other moves will probably knock it out, so... Alright, I think we weakened it enough. Let's use the regular Pokeballs, we got a bunch of those. And caught! Now, we're not going to nickname this one yet. Um, I'm going to catch a bunch more of these, and then once I've found the one that I want, that's the one I'm going to give a nickname once we get to Slateport City and talk to the Name Raider. Check if we got an item real quick. Uh, yeah, we did. Okay. Repel. And an X attack. Again, don't think I'll be using those. Oh, by the way, these Rock Smash Rocks here... Uh, that's where you find Nose Pass in this game. You can only find him here in Granite Cave inside of those rocks, I think. Uh, trying to find a set of stairs, because there's a certain item here that you can get, but... Because I don't want to flash, I can't see it too easily. There are three things that are infinite. The universe, human stupidity, and the number of Zubat in these fucking caves. And I'm not so sure about the universe. To paraphrase Albert Einstein. Okay, we got another one we can try and catch. Ouch. Good news is because of clear body, it can't produce my accuracy with Mud Slap. Otherwise, this would be even more of a pain in the ass. Okay, good enough. And there's the second Neuron. I think I'm gonna keep catching Neuron until I run out of normal Pokeballs. But other than that, let's just keep going and we will go hand off the letter to Steven. Maybe. Ah, fuck it. Let's catch it. It'll be a useful HM slave if I get it. If I get it.
We'll call you... Yeah, I know that my the Pokemon I'm not using on the team are not metal themed in their nicknames. This is just random stuff. You're E Honda. And there's Steel Wing, which could be useful for Skarmory later on, I guess. Although I think it also learns it to level up. Not a great move, because it can miss, but whatever. Anyway, I suppose now we will cut to later, and I'm going to catch myself some Auron off-camera. So, we caught ourselves our Auron. One of seven. It's got a Jolly Nature, level 10. Starting moves are Tackle, Harden, Mud Slap, and Headbutt. Not bad to start with. And that will be... That's going to be our second Pokémon. And we're also going to give it... Silk Scarf. Because it'll be able to benefit from it more than Matang will. Gee, hang on. Let's also quickly... Yeah, we don't need Abra right now, because, well, you already took care of the package, or letter for Steven, rather. Alright, and now I think we can call this an episode. Uh, actually, I think I already healed. Whatever. Anyway, uh, this has been Zero. Uh, if you like this episode, comment, subscribe. Maybe check out my Rumble page if you want to. And next time, we will be taking on Brawly for the second badge. See you next time.